Oh, look, it's part two. Anyways, a lot of people put off anxiety like it is absolutely no big deal. Nothing to it, you know? Hey, you're stressed out. You know, I get it. I understand. That's, that's cool, you know? Um, good luck with that. Much like a lot of hospitals, free clinics, doctors, even therapists. You know, oh, well, you know, you, you need to take, well, I, I don't mind this part. Well, you need to take this medicine and you'll get better. I don't mind that part per se, but it's wrong. And you all know I'm right on that aspect. It's wrong to assume that medicine is, why am I, why is my camera all, it, it's wrong to assume that medicine is just going to fix your problem. Now here's where understanding has to come in. I'm just going to say this right now. I want all of you to understand this right now. SSRIs like Prozac and um, uh, Paxil, uh, all, all the other ones. You, if you're at the Cebalta or not Cebalta, but Celexa, um, Caflexa, you know, all of the SSRIs do absolutely nothing for anxiety. Don't waste your money. Tell your doctor. I already know. I've done the research. It does nothing. Absolutely nothing. 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 Let me explain something. Okay, you can Google this. This is true. They the pharmaceutical companies weren't selling antidepressants as much as they were back in the 70s, 80s, and early 90s, okay, for real, because we started coming out with other medicine and therapy, and mothers and, and fathers didn't want their kids and teens on all this medicine, so this medicine was just kind of sitting around, um, really. And so they started, a, a, you probably even saw the ad on TV, especially if you live here in America. You probably saw the ads on TV like crazy for weeks, uh, even months. Uh, they re-advertised it, remarketed it for social anxiety, not generalized anxiety, social anxiety. Uh, they said it would help. It's a placebo effect. That would be like me giving you water and saying, I put medicine in the water. The wa This drink is going to help you in six to eight weeks. Just keep drinking it. I'll give it to you. You can't see what I put in it. I'll give it to you. But in six to eight weeks, you're going to be better. It's the same effect. I swear on my entire soul, it doesn't work. They do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let me give you a little bit of scientific proof here. 5%, now all of these SSRIs give you serotonin. 5% of serotonin is in the brain. The rest of it is in the mouth, the throat, the stomach, the intestines, the colon, and the rectum. That's where the other 95% of it is. I swear, look it up. It does absolutely nothing to the major parts of the brain that interact with uh, your amygdala, uh, the adrenal glands, etc. All the things that give you anxiety and panicky and all that those feelings nothing zero okay when you're anxious actually I might even make three videos Fuck. when you're anxious okay you may or may not send off adrenaline I don't I just feel really fucking weird okay my heart starts to race I start you know having all these thoughts that I'm not actually thinking I might have one thought one and it triggers everything everything for the next six eight twelve hours really I mean my day turns into hell seriously um, one thought I swear one thought and uh, I've been on SSRIs they may or may not work for everybody is what they say of course no medicine works for everybody I mean come on They'd be like saying, you know, well, water may or may not work for everybody. Well, bitch, you, everyone needs water. Come on. That's just dumb. You know, it's kind of the same. Um, anyways, but um, let, me, let me give you all advice right now, okay? If you have anxiety, 
on a regular basis. I'm not talking about anxiety, you know, uh, a couple times a month. I'm saying if you have anxiety every day or every two days, three days, I mean, you have it really regularly and it's really bad and, and you haven't tried anything like medicine, these are the only medicines that stop anxiety. And I'm not lying to you, okay? I don't work for some fucking pharmaceutical company like some douchebag said. I'm a normal guy, just like you guys. I have schizophrenia, I have uh, severe anxiety, I have hypochondrosis, something is wrong with my stomach and intestines, they don't work. God knows what's wrong. But I'm gonna tell you right now, the only medicines that work, clonopin, which is clonzepam, Xanax, um, Alpralazam or something like that, Ativan, Lorazepam, careful with Ativan, careful, very addicting, can go through suicidal withdrawals, just saying, those are your emergency times, okay, Geodon, Geodon works, that one's non-addictive, but you can have a, a it's, it's an anti-psychotic anti medicine, but it works, it works, it may make you feel weird, but it works. Um, Zyprexa, uh, a lot of the you know um, antipsychotic medicines work, but the best ones are the benzodiazepines. Write that down. I don't care how you spell it. Benzodiazepine. Those work magic. Okay. If you have a if you start to have a panic attack, you pop two milligrams of Xanax. Guess what? It's gone. Fifteen minutes gone. And it won't be back for six, eight hours. I'm just saying. Or a milligram of clonopin. If you've never taken these drugs, you're going to get really high, okay, real drowsy. You, your brain slows down. The electrical impulses in your brain, it's a tranquilizer. The electrical impulses in your brain slow down. And I take clonopin myself, a milligram twice a day. It works wonders. I haven't been to the hospital since I got my medicine. Uh, what? Um, I'm going on a week. Going on a week. Awesome. It's it's great. Um, a lot of people look at anxiety and say, "What do we do?" There's nothing we can do. Here's some medicine. But that's the real you know that's the realistic look and actual viewpoint towards anxiety. What can we do? And, and you know what? I'm I'm kind of getting sick and tired of hearing people bitch and moan. And I'm not talking about you guys. I'm not talking about you guys. I feel your pain. I love hearing you vent to me. I love it because I vent back. We have nice little conversations. And I know a lot of you try to contact me. I probably haven't even gotten to you and you messaged me months ago. It, it got lost. Sorry. I get so many messages every day, all day long. And there for a while I wasn't, ta I wasn't looking at any of them. They just kind of compiled. Really. So if you did send me a message, send it again because I'm back and I'm doing all this stuff all day long. Seriously. And a lot of you I've added on Skype and I talk to you on a regular basis uh, or MSN, even Facebook. Um, you, I know a lot of the, the Facebook people are just kind of there, but when they need me, I'm there. And that's the big, that's the big thing. When you're having a panic or anxious situation, you need somebody. It doesn't matter who it is. You need somebody who can help calm you down. And how do you calm down from a panic episode? Well, how do you calm down from a car wreck? You get away from it and you talk to somebody about something else. Get your mind off of it. That's how you take care of anxiety. You get your mind off of it. Go now, doing something by yourself, not really going to help. But if you do something with someone else, it's going to help. Um, for me, uh, I'm not even kidding. If I can't stop it, I have to have a shot. I have to. I There's no other way to stop it. I have to get a shot. And, you know, the hospital thinks I'm a druggie. Some of them do. But I'm not a druggie. I take all of my medicine as prescribed. And I know a lot of you are fighting the same battle that I'm fighting. You know, they think you're a druggie. They won't give you scripts. They'll give you a referral to a clinic. 
but but they'll send paperwork to the clinic. Watch out, this guy's a druggie. I know I, I'm in the same battle. There are certain shifts at the hospital I can go to, and not have to worry about being questioned about why I'm there. And and I know these times and these shifts because I've been there for three years. And and I, I'm going to admit something. I'm going to admit something right now. I bought Xanax off the street because I was out. Couldn't find any clonopin. I bought Xanax. And I went to the hospital. And I'm not going to say who, but one of the doctors asked me if I had any medicine. And I said, I have Xanax. And she said, Where'd, or, uh, you know, she said, well, where'd you get the Xanax? And I said, and I mean, I literally, I'm embarrassed. I, I'm embarrassed right now to tell you people I bought off the street because that's not who I am. It's not. That embarrasses me. I, I feel extremely guilty, and I feel, I feel like I got caught robbing a bank. Really. It's not who I am. I want a prescription. I want a doctor to say, this is okay. I'm justifying you to take this medicine. When I buy off the when I did, I can't say buy, I only did it once. When I took it off the street, I felt super terrible, very guilty, and extremely embarrassed. And I started crying in front of this doctor. And she said, you know what, well, let me, let me hold on to the bottle. I'm not going to turn you in. If one of the nurses catch you with it, you're probably going to go to jail. And I said, okay. I took a chance. I said, fine. Cool. You know, she said, I'll give you a Xanax here. <clears throat> I said, uh, she said that, you know, I, she wasn't going to do blood work. You know, no, no, no tests. My mom was in the hospital. Cool. That, that's completely fine. That's fine. It's cool. Just anxiety. I understand. But, um... I felt really guilty. I, I did. I really did. And and if you are buying off the street, please, 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 please be careful about what you're taking. Please double check at drugs.com. Google search the imprints, okay? If it's got a little strange R on it and 34 or something like that, Google it all. You know, oh, I found a round yellow pill with R34. Oh, and it's scored. Google that. And if it comes up to what you, you asked for, or what you got, or what you think it is, good to go. If it comes back as something else, don't take it. Don't take the chance. Because one of your buddies, or your buddy's buddy's buddies, said, Oh, this is this is Cloud Up in his annex. Go ahead and take it for Valium. Oh, sorry. Valium also works uh, in wonders. Um, 10 milligram pill for me, that, that sets my anxiety down. Um, just saying. Don't take 10 milligrams off the bat. You need tolerance to benzos, seriously. If you took 10 milligrams, you've never had a, a benzo in your life, two milligrams, I'm just, I'm just saying, just saying. Um, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really frustrated with how people are viewing our issues, really. I'm really frustrated with it. And not because it's, it's affecting me, because it's affecting 24, 25 million people. And I know how these people feel. And I know how even more of the, or the more, you know, the majority of them feel. You're cast aside. I mean, you know, um, here's, here's, you know, a script, go home for, I'll see you in eight weeks or whatever. That's not help. It's not. I mean, medicine is not a cure. It's a band-aid. We've talked about this before. It's a band-aid until you can go get help. It's a I actually make three videos on this. Wow. It's just a band-aid. And people aren't understanding this. And doctors don't take the time today to actually get to know somebody. Now the doctors that I know get to know me. They've gotten to know me very well. But I mean, of course, after seeing them for three years, I mean, they have to know me. Come on almost every day. I mean, I've, I've been there so much, I probably could work there. Just saying. Um, actually, I'm going to end the video now. I'll make another one. Wow.